Right, today it's time for the test. Now, in a previous video, we used this set of kitchen scales to calculate the physical power it would take from our legs to produce a certain amount of electrical power on the bike generator. And in that video, which if you haven't seen, check it out in the link in the description below, I promised that I'd install an actual power meter, a physical power meter, on the bike generator just to test if we got that equation and that calculation correct. So today is the day for testing that. So as you can see here, we've installed a stages power meter on a Shimano Ultegra crank. I'll just show you the other side of that. Okay, so the equation that we came up with in the previous video to calculate the power is here. Now you can see the full derivation of that equation in that previous video. P constant includes a value P mech, which is the total mechanical power to turn all the mechanical parts of the generator without generating electrical power. Now I've made a couple of changes to the generator since we came up with the figure that we arrived at in the previous video, which was 72 watts. So what I've done is the Ultegra crank is actually five millimeters shorter than the crank we had on previously. And I've also changed the bottom bracket and re-greased and changed all the rear wheel bearings, which I'm sorry to say, we're in an, <laughs> an absolutely shocking state. I've actually, I've no idea how the bloody pedals were turning, to be honest. Uh, so we've, I, I, I've, I've done all that. So what I'm expecting is the figure is going to be less than we calculated there. So I retook the measurement using our trusty kitchen scales. Uh, and last time, if you remember, we got 5.6 kilos. So this time we got 4.5 kilos. Uh, so allowing for the fact that it takes a little bit to get the uh, generator turning, if you plug that into our figure for P mech, which is P mech equals mg d t to the minus one, you get 63 watts to two significant figures. So what we're expecting, we're going to do a test now. What we're expecting is when we pedal without any electrical load on the generator, we're hoping we're going to get roughly 63 watts measured power output. Let's give it a go. Uh, j just a quick shout out to Bex. It's actually snowing today. Uh, <laughs> so we're all wrapped up here. Uh, thanks for filming, Bex. You're welcome. I get paid uh, a lot for this. Okay, so I'm on, rigged up. Uh, the Garmin there is connected to the power meter and we are using the phone there to record the power as recorded on the Garmin. So I'm just going to pedal, there's no electrical load on the circuit whatsoever so I'm literally just turning the alternator and turning the mechanism mechanically. So we're aiming, we're looking for 63 watts. Here we go. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, we are there and thereabouts, aren't we? Uh, it's fluctuating a little bit. Obviously my pedaling isn't perfect. Um, it's a very cold day as well. I don't know if that's affecting the power meter a little bit, but we've, uh, it, it's showing that we are pretty much, pretty much spot on. All right, so far so good. That is a really good result, isn't it? So, I mean, we did that calculation with a set of kitchen scales, um, so it's pretty good. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put some load electrical load uh, onto the circuit. Now if you remember in the last video, if you saw it, uh, we did a couple of calculations and the first one was the leg power to produce 100 watts of, of usable electrical power. So we're going to test that, we're going to take 100 watts out. Now the way I'm doing this here, I've got a pulse width modulator there uh, and a kettle uh, and I've adjusted that so that I can get the right power output. Now, if you want to see our video about boiling a kettle with a bi generator, uh, there's a link in the description below for that as well. That will really all work. Uh, we're not going to boil it today. We're just going to do 100 watts. Uh, and we've got a camera down there recording the volt ammeter at the bottom. So the way that we get electrical power uh, is volts times amps in this circuit. So we're looking for at about 14 volts, 7 amps. So we're going to just adjust this pulse width modulator so that we're pulling seven amps of current off this circuit uh, and we're going to measure the power so we've got the phone monitoring the garmin there again and we're going to read the power 
whilst generating 100 watts of usable electrical power. So um, it's a big test, isn't it? Let's see if it works. <coughs> Bit harder to pedal in. Okay, we're rolling. We're producing 7 amps uh, and we're at 210 watts. Oh, going down a bit, fluctuating a bit. I think my cadence is right. So, yeah, between 200 and 210 watts. Now, that's slightly above what we anticipated. I see it's settling to about 200. So it looks like we're getting a good constant reading around the 200 watt mark. Okay, that is an absolutely fantastic result, isn't it? We were correct to within 5% based on two significant figures. And we measured it with a set of chuffing kitchen scales. So hopefully that just demonstrates you you don't need fancy equipment to do a bit of science that gives you useful knowledge and useful working figures and um, i probably couldn't have wished for a better result to be honest so there you go that's the test thank you for watching uh, if you've liked this video please give us a like give us a thumbs up and give us a subscribe to the channel if you like it check out our other bike generator videos and systems videos and that type of thing on the channel and as i say if you want to see the full mathematical calculations that are behind these things check out the precursor to this video link to which is in the description below thanks for watching